Hi everyone, welcome to all of you back in another video. This is Mustafa Ahmed and this is the third video of TechLog course. In this course, you will learn everything about TechLog. I'll try to cover everything about it and I'll start from making new project and then we'll continue with the other steps. So to find the data that I will use in this course and to find the link of downloading this uh, software, you can find them in my telegram channel i'll leave you the link in the description so let's just start open tech log this is what you will see here are the top Project home, plot, data, UOT study of physics. This is the most important one, and the rest of them. And we'll talk about them later. Um, to make a new project, which is the first step, uh, press on project, and here you can you can select new or Control Shift J N from your keyboard. Here. Uh, put the name of the project This is the pr project folder you can select the name too And your new project will open As you can see here at the top, the project name, this is the project name, and now you are working on your project. So after you open your project, um, I need data to work on. I'll import them from here. So now you have to open a new window, which is a uh, project browser. Hey, from here you can upload uh, or can import um, your data from here you can select the type of, of file as I am uploading last file so I'll select this one okay these are the logs how can I import them press on it and then press on this now I don't need this as you can see here, these are the curves, and then I I need to display them. But before that, let me explain something here. These are the windows. If you don't understand it, from here you can uh, pin the window or unpin the window. Here you can display the rest of the windows. Here you have the properties. We will use this later. And here you have zonation. So when you open your project you will find them already but you can um, close them and open uh, any one you want from here okay so these are the curves now I need to display them I'll go to plot and select log view and to display them simply you can uh, drag them right here and this is the depth I don't need the depth sorry um, let me let me start with the bit size and caliber to show you the Okay, the caving zones. This is the bit size, and this is the caliper. You can control the size from your mouse. From here, you can also control the size of the log. Okay, select this. 
curve then press control and select the other one right click and press on this icon which is insert area fill between the variables so as you can see here these are the caving zones which means we have shell in these areas mostly shell um, caving do doesn't happen uh, only because of uh, shell and we will also use final word report to find out what does that happen so here we have mud cake here we have mud cake so now I'll explain how can we infill these areas and how can we change the colors press on it and then go to properties here first thing you have the name you can change the name from caliber from caliber to precise to um, caving for example because this is caving caving and you will see that here let's talk about by color and how can we change the color of this go to by color and here you can select the area area fill if you select left the only the area on the left will be um, fill if you select right only the mud cake area will be uh, fill with color and you can select them both here you can um, change the color or you can you can um, you can uh, select pattern and you can change the pattern too here we have shell so uh, here here from the display options you can change the color of it um, and you can change the shape too so here the color is red now let's make it black so it's black now and the size and you have many options here you can check them if you want to change the shape and the size of or and the color of uh, the curves. So thank you for watching and we'll continue with another video.